This is Nine News Perth with Lee Steele. Good afternoon. A baby boy left fighting for life after an alleged assault by his teenage father is now under state care. El Mitteros joins us live from Princess Margaret Hospital. El, what happens from here? Lee, baby Liam is just a month old and is still in a critical condition here at PMH. His 15-year-old father is charged with assaulting him just three days ago at the Bunbury Regional Hospital. He'll be back in court next month. Lee? Thank you, Elle. West Australians are likely to vote again in a new Senate election. The High Court says the result should be ruled void after more than 1,300 votes were lost. As state political reporter Josh Yerger explains. A suspicious blaze has torn through bush in Perth's north. The fire started around 10 this morning in the Yellagonga Regional Park in Wanneroo. As the fire burnt towards Lake Joondalup, there were fears strong winds could have carried embers to suburban Edgewater. Basically, um, it was just tearing through because it had the wind behind it and uh, probably, you know, 20, 25 metre flames. It took around 40 firefighters and four water bombers to control and contain the fire. Arson Squad believes the blaze was deliberately lit. Coming up on Nine News, how many sharks have been caught under the government's new policy as demonstrators take their protest to the steps of parliament? and how this block apprentice is building a reputation for himself. The state government has released the latest results from its catch and kill plan. 67 sharks have been caught on drum lines off the WA coast in the past three weeks. 43 were hooked off Perth, 17 sharks were over three metres and were shot, and nine were dead by the time they were found. To date, no great whites have been caught. Protesters brought their fight to the steps of Parliament this afternoon, joining the demonstration, the mother of shark attack victim, Carl Burden. This was a mediocre and fundamentally flawed strategy in both concept and execution. Drum lines off Cottesloe and North Cottesloe have been removed for this Saturday's Rotto swim. They'll go back in the water the next day. Taking a look at finance now, the Australian market closed slightly higher today. Our dollar is buying 54 British pence, sitting the same with 90 US cents and 10,646 Indonesian rupiah. Sport is next with Michael Thompson, who's at Arena Joom. Up today, Tomo, the footy season is officially underway. It certainly is, Lee. The Fremantle Dockers up against the West Coast Eagles. We've got highlights coming up after the break as Adam Simpson makes his coaching debut for the Eagles. It's sailing. It's there. Plus a silver medal for Australia in aerial skiing. Welcome back to Journal Up and uh, Adam Simpson has made what can only be described as a dazzling debut for the West Coast Eagles as their new coach in this NAB challenge against the Fremantle Dockers. A quarter time, the West Coast Eagles lead by a huge 46 points. Let's have a look at some of the highlights from the first quarter. All right, let's move on now to cricket and of course the second test match between Australia and South Africa is coming up uh, at Port Elizabeth and uh, Alex Doolan who made that dazzling debut looks like the man who could stand in the way of a test recall for Shane Watson. Lee, that's all from me. I'll be back at six with lots more sport. All right, thank you, Tom. It looks beautiful outside but it's not cooling down anytime soon. I'll have the forecast after the break. To the weather now, we had a warm max of 35 degrees at 3.30 this afternoon. The sunny conditions are under a ridge of high pressure. Taking a look interstate, it will be wet and stormy in most of the capitals tomorrow. The chance of a storm in Canberra and Sydney, showers will ease in Adelaide and it will be sunny in the Alice, 32 degrees. Looking at the north of our state, the chance of a storm in Kununurra, 36, Port Hedland, 41, a very hot 43 in Coral Bay, heading south now, sunny for Bunbury in 33, 24 and partly cloudy in Esperance. Tomorrow a very hot 37 degrees is expected in Perth. Temperatures will stay in the mid-30s for the rest of the week. We'll see a top of 36 on Thursday, 33 on Friday. Saturday will hit 34 degrees before warming to 35 on Sunday. Stay on 9 Our National News is next. Enjoy your evening.
Welcome back. You're watching Nine's Afternoon News. Here's what's making news right now. Federal police have raided the offices of the Seven Network and New Idea in Sydney as part of a proceeds of crime investigation into the channel's dealings with Chappelle Corby. Close to a thousand people are set to lose their jobs after aluminium giant Alcoa announced it shutting three sites across Victoria and New South Wales. And former Federal MP Craig Thompson has been found guilty of numerous charges.